Hey, brave bosses of the gym. First of all, hashtag pretty gang in the comments. Stop playing with me, okay? So first things first, you guys, welcome to the channel. Make sure you're liking and subscribing to the channel. Make sure you guys are checking out my Bray Hair for Cash course. Let's get right into it. I wanna talk about the things that you need to be doing in 2023 for your Bray business. I be getting to the money. Everybody man. First things first, you need to be thinking about your booking site. Yes, I don't know how many times I'm gonna tell y'all you have to have a booking site. Long gone are the days where people want to call your phone, people want to text you, people want to slide, slide in your DMs. While people might still do that, there are many more people that prefer to just go to your website, go to a booking site, and book you to braid their hair. So I need for you guys to go ahead and check out my video. I'll let it slide somewhere up here where I show you guys how to set up your booking site. And I, yeah, how to set up your biggest site, I'll leave the video up here or I'll let it be down below, okay? Your booking site needs to be available. Do not play with, don't, don't play with it, okay? You need to have a booking site. The second thing that needs to happen in 2023 for your break business is you need to be doing in-person advertisement, right? I know everybody's online, everybody's talking about online, social media. Yes, that is awesome, but we all know that how people usually get your information is yes online but it's majority word of mouth it's in person i've told you guys a hundred times and i'm gonna keep saying it it's old school and y'all don't believe me but you need to get you some business cards you need to get you some flyers and you know need to go take a saturday or friday whatever day you're available and you need to go drop off those flyers and then business cards to at least five beauty supplies in your area right Yes, that's, that might seem old school, it might seem old fashioned, however, it still works. You need to become familiar with the, I was gonna, I was gonna say the braided markets. You need to become familiar with the beauty supplies in your area so that you can have a good rapport with them so they can um, tell people about your business or at the minimum allow you to leave your flyers and your business cards at their front desk or maybe they have an area where they have all of that at and you need to be putting your business cards there and your flyers there okay um the next thing is i want to be honest with you guys i know everybody's into to doing a hundred different styles but you need to be having five or less main styles that you do and anything else people need to reach out to you here's why if somebody goes to your book inside you have too many things and it becomes overcrowded and what i'm noticing after i'm going to lurk on some of you guys' stuff is you guys are putting a lot of things that might turn braiding customers off meaning i'm coming to your site for braids but you show you talking about brazilian wax you talking about arching eyebrows microblading it's like i'm here for braids i'm not here for none of that so if you're going to have, and I know that some of you guys run multiple, have a business that offers multiple things, but if you are trying to clean up your braid business and get more customers booking you, when they go to your booking site, it needs to be clean and clear cut. You should have five or less um, offerings or, or braiding styles and anything else they need to reach out to you, okay? Because what comes down to is people get there, it's too many things, they get confused, they're going to log off, and then you, you just miss the client. Versus they log on and they're like, okay, she do, um, she do micro braids, she do box braids, she do, you know, um, I don't know, flat twist and I don't know, Senegalese braids. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff out there. But if people just see a couple of things and they can clearly see what, what kind of site they're on, it makes them more likely to buy. And when you go there and there's too many things, it turns people off and they will leave. Okay, so you need to have five or less styles that you offer. Of course, we know you can start breaking it down. Oh, medium is this, small is this, micro is this, but you just want to have five basic braid styles on your site so people do not get confused and they can clearly see what they're booking you for. Okay, and the next thing is you guys, I'm gonna keep saying it, you gotta pay to play. Okay, you have to start paying for advertisement. Okay, you are not the only braider in town. There are other braiders, and you need to stand out from those braiders. So if I'm posting something on my Instagram, and I'm in Atlanta, and the other girl is posting something on her Instagram, and she's in Atlanta, but if I boost mine, I'm going to come up before her, right? And when I say boost, that means I paid for my stuff to come up on top when people go searching for a braider in Atlanta, for a braider in Mississippi, for a braider in Arizona. You guys get my drift. You have to pay to promote yourself, you have to pay to advertise yourself. You're going to have to do that. And last but not least, yes, you should have add-ons, but your add-ons should make sense to your business. I know you might do something different, but a lot of these add-ons 
are things that take you into another type of beauty business, okay? So make sure you have add-ons that make sense. You might say, okay, um, I do braids and one of your add-ons could be, you know, like you do, a, you, you're willing to braid their beehive for their wig. That's That add-on makes sense, right? It's like some of these add-ons, I'm like, oh, I you do henna, you know, like the henna tattooing, like that doesn't necessarily go, but it falls under a beauty business, so it can go. All I'm saying is if you're going to offer something extra, make sure the extra thing makes sense to a braid business. It should not be something completely different from a braid, or let me not say braid. It needs to stand in the same line of a beauty business. You don't want to offer something completely different when you're offering your add-ons, okay? So you guys, so these are the things that we need to be doing in 2023 to clean up our braid business so that we can get this money, so we can be booked and braided. So you guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.